Hi all, welcome to Fancy Keyland. Now we are going to see uh, what is the data center over here. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. So data type conversion is nothing but converting one form of data into another. For example, here I am going to use any of the hardware. Does Python, does Colab run on Python 2 or Python 3? Runs on Python 3. It is completely Python 3. Yeah, where was I? Data type conversion. So if you are using any of the hardware like uh, Raspberry Pi, Jetson and all means, they have some of the ports uh, or uh, GPIO pins where you can connect some of the sensors to read the data. But what are the controller, uh, the data gets read over there means, therefore it is completely taken in the form of integer float or the numerical values only. If you want to send the message or if you want to just write down that particular uh, data to any of the text files means, then you have to go for that kind of uh, functions, especially this data type conversion because we will be collecting a data and storing it in a variable and that particular data will be converted into another data type and hence we will be able to uh, send the mail or we will be able to write down a text uh, file or we will be able to send us an sms so like that kind of uh, applications we will be able to use this okay so for that we have to know the different different keywords uh, for each and every data type conversion so i'm logging into collab here whatever i have given it is in string. So you all have seen what is the type of A. Now I'm going to convert this type of A into float. So now you can see it has converted into 45.6. And you might think inside that, that particular number is only there. That is the reason. Then what happens if I convert into int? So uh, based on that particular conversion, it is not able to take place. Whereas from string to float, it was able to convert. But here, if I convert this into float, whether it will be able to convert or not means, yes, it will be able to. Because from float, it is very difficult for a certain process of numbers. So here you can see with that particular decimal point, it has been converted to integer to float. Whereas from float to integer only, it is difficult. Okay. And if I want to uh, convert this particular thing into a string. So just type str as the keyword, provide the variable. Oh, sorry. Yeah, and therefore it has been converted into string. And one of the advantages in Python means the string can be taken in two different forms either in double quotes or either in single quotes. So here, if I enter the data, it has to uh, find out what type of data it is. And at the same time, uh, even if I want to just uh, collect only this type of data means that is also possible. Okay. So here I can use one of the functions like input. Is uh, anyone sure about it? Like uh, which particular data type does this takes as input? Okay, there are some questions, I hope. Ah, answers also there. It is taking a string. Okay, I will get back to that uh, once I clarify this. Is literal and variable are same thing? No, both are different. Literal, it mostly comes like uh, predefined or uh, keywords. Variable is user defined, maximum. Okay, in on what basis you guys are uh, telling this as a string? On what basis you guys are saying this will be taken as a string. Python's default data type is string within the code. So here now I am erasing it. What will happen? Even I also don't know what will happen. Yeah. So now also it is taking the data. So now uh, within the code, whether it will take it as a string, input function by default returns string. Okay. So what are the answer is like? Input function, default it will be taking a string only. If you want to take only the particular data means we have to convert the data type. So here, now I can enter and this will be the data hole. And for that, we can also find out the type. So 
So here I am entering the value. It is taken as string. The same thing, if I want to enter only a number, either I should give it as integer or float. So here I am providing it as integer. And if you provide any comments over here, means it will be looking like a professional. I'm not sure whether I'm uh, conducting the classes in a professional way, but let that experiments will show. So here, if I am typing in the data, invalid literal. Yeah, now once again, I will do it. So it has taken it in the form of integer. Okay. Any doubts on this? Any doubts? So such a simple kinds of uh, implementation only. Okay. So next, uh, let us see how to uh, work with uh, multiple functions inside a string. So here I am going to give up a uh, data of string. Hello, everyone. This is. from Antec e-learning. Okay, so this is one of the string I have declared over here. Now, if I want to find out the entire length of the string, so there is one particular keyword over here. So that particular thing is len of a. So totally there are 55, including the space. So what are the blanks or the space I have given between each word that is also considered and there are totally 55 over here. Now from this, I can uh, replace or not replace, even replace function is also possible. Converting everything into the caps, everything into the small and uh, slice out that particular string. So everything is possible over here. So after this length, here, how to slice out that particular area means. So here, I'm going to provide it as 55. Okay. So this is nothing but that particular string, whatever I have provided. So it has taken all the characters. And if I provide it as 54, so there is no G over there. The first parameter denotes as starting and the second parameter will be denoting as ending. So here I have not given the starting point and therefore it will be taking it as zero. Whereas if I take that particular starting point, yawn, this is Jishnu from Pa. So this is nothing but now whatever we have split it. So based on this particular uh, functions only here, we will be able to split the data. This is known as string slicing or string splitting in Python. So while compared to other programming languages, uh, this is much more quicker and easier. So within two lines, we have completed. Actually, there is no need of finding uh, out length once already if you have found out means. But here I am just taking it. What is the more advantage uh, whenever we are applying this particular string slicing means? Uh, recently, when I was working with some sort of hardware which transfers the data towards the system through Python. And therefore, uh, since the serial communication was enabled, it was it will be just uh, collecting the entire data, but I need only a part of data from it. So I have to find out the length and I have to find out the position. And therefore, finally, I will be able to locate it. 
So from that particular locating, uh, this particular word only will be collecting, and then I will take it as a string for matching purpose. So this kind of functions only here we'll be working with string slicing. Okay. Now how to replace the word? So here I'm going to provide another one keyword replace within bracket. So here we have two parameters. One is the old word, comma, another one is the new word. So here for that old word, here I'm going to use the caps Jishnu and converting into the small. Okay. And now I'm entering it. So now you can see how it has been changed up over there. Okay. So in this way only we will be able to replace that particular word. Now, if I want to find, so where is that particular word available means this is commonly can be set as the find and replace functions only, whatever we are doing in our Microsoft Word. So it starts from 25th place. Okay. And like this, if I want to provide an inverse of string means like a colon of minus one. Actually, this should be uh, reversed over here, but it has changed the position. Just a moment. That's a mistake in syntax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Start off with double column. I have given only the single column. Thank you. Thank you for remembering me. So now this has been applied as the reverse. Anyway, thanks for making me to remember. So in this way only the string reverse, here we will be working it. Okay. So now almost uh, we have completed all the functions of the string. Okay. So uh, shall we have a live task now? So the task is nothing but you have to create a, a replace model. Okay. So like for whatever the replace you are going to provide that should be in the mode of input, like which we do that uh, replace in uh, our uh, word files. So whatever the data you're going to provide it as input, that particular data should be replaced in the string. Can you guys do that within 10 minutes? I'm giving you a lot of time. 10 minutes is the higher period, I hope. Guys, am I audible? Nothing but whenever I'm going to provide that input, whatever the input I'm going to provide over that, that should be replaced in a predefined string. Like I will explain the step also. You have to provide a string. Okay. Then you have to provide that particular input and you have to find it. Okay, first you have to find that particular input. Then you have to replace that particular word through input itself. It should be like a real time working in Word document. Let it be anything. Hello world or any a group of sentence. Anything is fine. Shall we try this here? First input to find out the data. Second input to replace the data. Commonly, I can say it as this is a find and replace tool created using Python. Okay. And uh, the time is 5.10. So you have to complete it before 5.20. And uh, no need to post it in this chat. Once if you completed means give the statement as complete. Sorry, completed in the chat. I will ask you to uh, share the screen. Please don't put the code. Let everyone try on their own. Once again, I am saying the string should be found out with the help of input only and the string should be also replaced with the help of input.